Hey guys, so sweet bike, old school, changing the chain, uh, worn out. So I wanna do a slight little bling upgrade. I got a gold chain, KMC. Uh, should be a little bit lighter maybe. Um, that is, looks sweet. So this is how you actually change a chain. Uh, I mean, measure it. So for starters, you know, I, I took it off the bike, obviously. Before you do that, you're supposed to put it in the, you know, shift, you're supposed to shift it into the big, big, and make sure that the chain actually wasn't already, somebody had previously installed too short. So you want, you know, make sure the derailleur's like here-ish or a little bit, you know. If the derailleur's like this, when it's in biggie, biggie, you know that the chain is maybe like a touch too short, so you could add one link. Um, and then obviously put it in the smally small and then make sure that the chain isn't like rubbing on itself back here. Anyway, so this is how you like size up the chain once you got determined it's the right, you know, the one that was on there is good. So you're just going to match it up. So you just line it up here on the floor. Obviously it came quite a bit longer here. So I can't actually match it up exactly. Doesn't, it doesn't line up perfectly, so I have, you have the, what is this, the male end? The male end, or that's the female end, I guess. However you want, I don't know how you want to think about it. So, and so I need to break it off here, maybe, where I would have this, because I want to have these on each end, because this chain comes with these quick links like that. So you're going to kind of put it in like that. So you need a hole on this side and a hole on the other end there to stick the, you know, this little links in. So if I cut it here, and then I'm going to be left with another hole like this, but and you got to think about it. The chain is actually going to be, it's, it's going to grow a full link. So then the chain's actually gonna be up a touch long. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna actually have to go back down to here, which is the next you know spot where I could I could have that ending. You know, if you set this here, you just you can see from my demonstration that at that point the chain would end here and the current chain ends here. So it's half of a link, which is fine. Because the, cha the chain that was on there was, you know, maybe I could have, I, I have a little bit of room to play. I could take out a tiny bit of slack. So in general, like the only issue you're ever going to have if the chain is too short is if you're in biggie, biggie, then you're going to be, this derailleur is going to be like, way like this but in general you shouldn't really be in biggie biggie that really ever or you know in an emergency or just you know randomly you just happen just not on purpose at least you want it so that this wouldn't like completely break off and like stretch all the way out and you know damage it you do that too if you do that a lot of damage it but um so yeah that's that's the only issue you would have if you made it too short um, and if you're never in Biggie Biggie, then that would ne probably never happen. So, so we're going to use our chain tool and chain breaker tool and just punch this guy out right here. And then put this in, put a little dab of lube on there and then call it good. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. EC90, so sick, old school carbon stuff. All right, take her easy.